Just like without Max, it wouldn't be no French. You know what I'm saying? Like we needed them. You know what I'm saying? We didn't need them to take those, you know, those falls that they've taken. But definitely without them, there wouldn't be no us. That's just, there's nothing else to say about that. Can you share like a, a funny or a crazy story or memory that you had with Stax? I remember one time I had an argument with Stax. Um, I had an argument with him about, it, and, and we never argued. It's like the only argument we ever had. It was like, uh, you know, I was still in the street, and Stax was making his transition from the street to music. And there was still a lot of things we needed. We didn't have everything that we, you know what I'm saying, that we needed, like as far as studio equipment. We were still, you know what I'm saying, just taking it as it came. So I had like a little scheme to, you know, get everything for us. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we gonna jack us some studio equipment. We gonna, you know what I'm saying, I had a lick. And the bro was just telling me like, man, listen, man, you gotta get out that way of thinking, man, because we, we don't need to get it like that no more. And at the time, I was looking at him like, man, you fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, I got a lick right now. We ain't got to do nothing. Just go get it. And you know what I'm saying? That was just that positive energy in him. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, I understood what he meant later on. What did you learn musically from working with him? I just learned how to be, you know what I'm saying, yourself. Like, just, just be as creative as you want to be. You know what I'm saying? He definitely showed me that star power. Oh, boy. Straight out the fucking dungeons of rap. Where fake niggas don't make it back. R.I.P. my brother Stack Bundle. You know that. I'm talking young and we was mobbing. We was living logs, clocking all them dollars. Watching them informants last night, I fell asleep. With dreams to be enormous, then the D's rushed the spot. They said they had a warrant. Choppers for my haters, dollars for my thoughts. Niggas in them pens, blowing on them ports. Half a fifth of gin, dealing with my losses. Years later, same young niggas turn to bosses. Bitches on them poles, try to make a living. Niggas fucking up their rib, throwing money at the ceiling. And it was all for the love of drug dealing. Stick your ears out my window and you hear them shells peeling. This is what they want, that vintage New York. Button up in khakis, nigga fresh up out of court. Nigga started off with weed, graduated to that snort. They got their money up to come and see me on the court. Damn right, you know I served them. Selling 12 12s to put 20s on Suburbans back when niggas wrote excursion. And say the wrong word, get your dome lit. Youngin' while you playing, get the whole brick. Aiming for your top. 
with extended yappers. Talking business with bosses, always shrimp and lobster. Coma toast in these rappers, put them all to sleep. And Poppy think I'm Dominican, so I got it cheap. Coke boys riding till we break the ball bearing. This tech empty out your spot like a store clearance. I'm dripping in all this polling, that's frozen water. A chemist up on the stove with that ball and water. They say me and my niggas make that South rap, so I let this Geechee ass tech push his mouth back. Yeah, they got it, but I take it from here. See, we play with no fear. You see that cake over there? I'm getting tall money. They know I've been caking all year. Talking ball money. We don't need no favors over here. Uh, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. I take it from here to EP. Coke boys in the building. She know. And police tonight are searching for the gunman who killed Pickens and critically wounded his passenger. They were shot in the rapper's Porsche in the Briarwood section of Queens early Sunday morning. The question tonight, who shot them and why? I'm news reporter Kimberly Richardson is in Queens with the exclusive interview. Kim. Well, Liz, Janelle Pickens is overwhelmed with the outpour and the support she's received in the last 24 hours ever since her husband, Lionel, was murdered right here. She tells me at some point she would like to hold a public memorial service, but right now her priority is her family and helping police catch whoever killed the hip-hop artist. <laughs> So what do you what do you want them to say to you? They need to come and see me. That's what they need to do. They should come and see me. He did he and why do you feel so strongly that they need to come forward and talk with you? Because I'm Lionel's mother. I need answers. That's why. You feel disrespected all the way. Yes, they disrespect me all the way. Not even at the funeral? At the funeral? Only thing French said to me, I asked French, why did y'all do that to my child? He said, because he wouldn't listen. And I told French, you're not his father, but I am his mother. I was from Esme Projects right there in that building, 5115, Alameda Ave, Apartment 2H. You know, we linked up, we clicked that Ryan's Wall shit together. You know what I'm saying? Me, G's, Vino, Stack Bundles. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing it ever since. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to say that my brother's deceased now. You know what I'm saying? He was murdered, but we're still out here. We're running around. We're groovy. You know what I'm saying? Name going, right? It's that motherfucking game. What's the, uh, what's the affiliation with, like, the Jim Joneses and, Mac and Max B's? Max B, that's my brother, man. I fuck with Max, you know what I'm saying? I just wrote him a letter, too. Him and Bino, shout out to them hoes I had behind the G-Wall. You know, uh, as far as Jim Jones, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was Stax, man. You know what I'm saying? That was Stax people, you know what I'm saying? I never really got in that loop with them. I'm out here from Queens. They from Harlem. It's the Harlem niggas I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? No, I fuck with these Harlem niggas. But shout out to them niggas, two wells, all them other niggas, you know? We doing our own thing. We get money. PSC, CJ Spazzo, old niggas, we fuck with all that. Shout out to the teams. Teams, 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 Seen him so happy within the last couple weeks. Happier than I've ever seen him. And we had so many plans. We had a vacation we was going on next week. And it's just... 
His son's birthday is coming up. Father's Day is coming up. My birthday is coming up. And now we're going through this. It's a lot. It will never be the same. It's a lot. I think it's really unfair to blame music for the actions of others. Um, I don't see if music changing, there's going to be a change in one's actions. I feel like people have to take accountability. Um, this is not about music. This is about ignorance. This is about um, crime just being at an all-time high for us at this point. This is about um, people feeling like they can get away with everything. Um, just not enough being done to hold criminals responsible for their actions. And I think it's more of a copycat thing. It's like people say, right. you know what I'm saying? Man, the world, it seems like you came out of nowhere, man. Explain to you where you come from, man. Like, what happened? Like, you just manifested and blew up, man. Nah, hell no, man. That shit was in the making. Every nigga that you see out there doing something, some substance in it, he been doing this shit for a while. You just not hearing about him, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't follow hip-hop, or if you don't follow New York hip-hop, then you wouldn't know me, but if you do, you know I've been around, you know what I'm saying? Your favorite nigga know about me. Whoever gunned down her husband, Lionel, the hip-hop artist, part of French Montana's Coke Boys, had just performed in Brooklyn Sunday morning. In his final text to a friend as he left the club, Lionel told Manny Mills, love you, big bro. Manny replied, love you too, bro. Thanks for everything. Territory that ain't even his. Over projects that ain't even yeah. his. Yeah. Oh, we don't even, don't we don't even really know. You know what happened? Don't make us yeah. We know what happened. It's all connected. Snake Brothers and Marlowe's is connected. I'm telling you. It's connected. Do you believe there'll be a resolution? Because it seems like the cops really are working hard on this. I hope so. I really do. But what can they do if nobody's talking? You know, it's like the hip hop code of silence. Yeah, that's how the streets are. Um, yeah, I started the music game in Far African. I started, I started rapping when I was in the music game. Back in my early history projects, that's when they really started. And then I took it a little more serious when I got with my own stack bumpers. You know, you can see that I'm resting in the middle of the stack. You know, you just started with the book writers. The call till my lips and they hit me. When the call. Pure torture. Um, it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. Um, there's no pain that can compare to having to bury my husband and explain to my kids that their fathers. Been murdered, and he.